Well, hello there. Today we are going to make a Glock 19 semi-auto rubber band gun, as you can see here. And I've got some templates made here. And we'll just cut them out, stick them to the corresponding plywood, and then cut the parts out and, and assemble the gun. I'll, I'll show you how to do that. And for this gun you'll actually only need a coping saw and a hand drill and of course some uh, glue and sandpaper and stuff. So you don't won't need any power tools aside from the drill which I don't really consider a power tool because pretty much everyone has it. Okay here we are we've got everything spray glued on here and we'll use the coping saw to saw everything out and use the battery drill to drill the holes. Now for drilling the holes you can of course use a hand powered drill but actually I don't have any one of these so I'm just going to use this one. Okay, here it is. Let's continue. Okay, so I've got some formal with a dowel here. And as you can see, we're gonna need two pieces which are two centimeters long and one that is 24 millimeters long. So you can just use your ruler and a coping saw to saw that out. So that's gonna be a two centimeter one. There it is, and now the other ones. There are all the parts, we got all this stuff sawn out, we got the pins, now it's time to drill the holes. And I'm gonna use, as I said, a hand drill here, battery drill, but you can of course use a, a hand drill if you've got one. I'm just gonna use a wood drill bit for that. So, let's get started, and of course, these holes are all 4 millimeters, so we're gonna need a 4 millimeter drill bit for that. There's this. Okay. Okay, now that we've got all the parts, we can start sanding. And what I'll do is just sand out these uh, spots here from the glue and make these a little bit thinner than this so that when they lay flat in here they have place to actually move. Okay, here are the, all the parts and we can now start to assemble this. Alright, so what we're going to do is uh, glue this to this part. I'm just going to use a regular wood glue for that. So I just... Uh, oh, let me just check where to apply the glue. Alright. So here. Here. And there. Alright. So, yeah, this should do the trick. Oh, I sh guess I should sand that a lot more. That should do the trick. And we'll just let that dry for about 20, 30 minutes. Okay, let's continue with the top slide piece. Alright, that's looking pretty promising. Okay, so here we are, 30 minutes later. The glue has cured. Looks pretty nice. We can now assemble the mechanism in here. So what we're going to do is take one of these short pins, put it in 
to this piece here. The other short pin can go into the trigger piece, like that. And the long pin will go through the cross thing here. And we'll need a spring like that. You can take a spring from a ballpoint pen. I just have this spring here available. It doesn't really matter too much. Right, so you put the trigger piece in here. It's a very easy mechanism. Put the trigger piece in here, like that. Then you got the hook part in here. So it moves like that. Right. And then you can put the cross in here. And the spring will go in between the frame and the hook piece. So it works like that. So the next thing we're going to do is glue the spring into place because it can actually move over time. And screw the other two plates onto the other side and then do a little bit of sanding and then we're done. Okay, so I've closed the lid here, it's not glued on, um, of course, because we're going to screw it. And we may have to screw it because, um, or it's better to screw it because we may have to access the mechanism later on if something breaks or I don't know you know it's always better to screw something so we'll just drive in the screws but before that we're just gonna pre-drill the holes so the screws uh, get in more smoothly all right here we are it's Pretty much finished. We can now use rubber bands to load this gun. Just hook it on, click it one position back, and then put the next one in. And I'd guess, depending on how well you sanded this, you can put in up to eight rubber bands. Right, it's loaded and it's semi auto, so you can just shoot it. It's a pretty reliable mechanism, so that's nice. Okay, I hope you liked this video. I certainly enjoyed making this gun. It's nice to get back to the roots once in a while. Um, if you did, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff. Take care. Bye.